address, an IP address, time of the initial incident, um, and we'll also give you the listing of what we found on that machine. Um, can you tell me about the squash court? Yeah, and <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Being as yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. As of as of next Monday, the way you know what we're doing is we were we were basically trying to focus on um, Peabody. Okay, because Peabody has ambitions, obviously. Well, Peabody and Newcomb and Lambeth House sound the same. And yeah, Lady has some garage ports, right? There are more secure network ports there, so when we turn it on, um, they'll, they'll be you know you will be monitored. You will be monitored as part of it. One of the things I'm finding in my job here is I peruse the network is logic doesn't enter into a lot of this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> There's port here, port here, oh, port, port over here, port over here, okay, fine. Are there plans uh, at some point to give us access to this interface for our segments? Uh, we haven't talked about that yet. I can see where that would be very valuable. Um, it might be valuable to have the second fire eye or another fire eye as sort of a roving device. Yeah. You know, right. call us up and say we'd like to point this at X. Sure. Do that. Right. Sure. Right. As a good Samaritan, you say you don't contact the dorm networks. Did we do it for this particular case? Yeah, for this. That's what I was going to ask. Poor kid. Did we tell this poor kid? Yeah, we did. What year was he? Responsible. He formatted his hard disk right away. What year was he? Uh, could, could oh, yeah. And actually, this, this, was, this was only Hereford, Hereford College. We only pointed it at, at, at uh, Hereford College. So it gives you a general idea of how bad it might have been elsewhere. Tony, can you answer a question about the more secure network? Sure. Is there any monitoring about whether or not people on those ports are complying with the requirements for the on the more secure network? I mean, the more secure network, as those you know, LSPs have been here well know, is a list of requirements for keeping your data secure, keeping your network secure, and it's pretty much the honor system. So, and the FireEye doesn't give us any capability in that regard. I do want to make sure I specify that that we're not, we don't have the capability to look at any data with this. Um, where you know, if your machine hasn't been run through identity finder, the FireEye doesn't care about that. The FireEye doesn't know about. That. So that's again not. Does it tell you if your job is out of date? I'm sorry? Does it tell you if your job is out of date? Does it tell you if your job is out of date? Only if you get an infection. Bingo. Let's tell you if you're not talking about So FireEyes, FireEyes are inferring what's going on in the machine. <laughs> going on in the machine based on the network traffic. It's, 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 it has no ability to look inside the machine and actually directly observe what's happening. Yeah. How many of that looks insufficient? Insufficient? Insufficient. Okay. Given, given the number of infected computers we suspect exist on the Earth, that doesn't look like... It, it's only catching the, the ones <coughs> that match its profiles. Um, if you, it's not, it's not, it won't find my computers that are infected with um, malicious software that aren't sending out packets of a certain type. I, I can't believe that but I the, don't have some. Yeah, no, yeah, but, but think about it differently. It catches it on the way in, okay? You know, if if your machine, if there's malicious traffic coming to a machine, okay, the FireEye will pick it up before, even before, or even if it never sends out another packet. The machines that we found in Carruthers um, and in general in ITS were ones that had <coughs> some kind of behavior that it thought was malicious, okay? In two out of three cases, it turned out not to be. It turned out to be just something that could have possibly been related to something that was malicious, type of thing, okay? But it identified it right at the time that the request went in, so that there wasn't anything going out at all. So that, that I mean, I agree with you that any network security really is insufficient these days, unless it's unplugged from the internet, okay? There's really no, nothing you have ironclad security today. Okay. This is a step above where we were, but I agree with you that there's always more you can do. There's always more you can, you, you can do. Yes, so. Paul? As a count, I'm just glad we're doing this because I feel like this is a minimum we haven't been covering. Right. Yeah, 
discuss. This is this is something that we haven't been actually been able to do before. So this this will this will give us a leg up. I hope. Uh, with the SANS things, and they always talk about certain things that you should have nailed down. This is one of the things that they put on. Right, yeah. yeah. Um, every institution that has a FireEye basically describes it as sort of crack for information security analysts. Once you know? <laughs> <laughs> turn it on, you'll never turn it off again. Any other questions, any other thing like that, just give me a holler, you know where to find me.